Kids are often engrossed in technology, spending excessive hours behind the screen. We here at Scope IT aim not to fight that war. Instead, we want to turn those hours into productive hours. We turn students from consumers into creators. This is something I really wish I'd had the opportunity to have when I was in primary school. We really want the kids to become creators rather than consumers. And with the way technology is going, I think it's really important that we provide every student with the opportunity to be that creator rather than just simply consuming, which is easy to do in today's world. For too long, uh, principals have been talking about uh, technology in classrooms and how we use technology in classrooms. Uh, my belief is that uh, during that time, the kids have been consumers and they've been consuming content, they've been looking at content, whether it be YouTube videos or Twitter or Facebook, they're consuming. Coding actually gives them the opportunity to create content for the web and create content for other people to enjoy. They can express themselves in their creation. We teach a lot of classes at Scope IT. We teach things from introductory concepts like thought processes and logic through to different things like learning to code apps or make websites. We make sure that we teach them all the different types of software development that they might need over the coming years. To me, coding is, it just covers so many, uh, ticks so many boxes uh, for education. Uh, looking at uh, logical thinking processes, working memory, putting things in order, Imagination is, is the only limit to coding. So we built programs that not only the children love, but teachers love as well. Um, to have the outcomes built around the science and technology and mathematics curriculum outcomes, it's just the added bonus. Technology is everywhere in the world anyway. Uh, you walk into a classroom, we have interactive whiteboards, we have interactive TVs. This information centre was developed last year just for that purpose. Uh, it is all encompassing with the curriculum. Uh, coding, technology, 3D printing, you're looking at mathematics, you're looking at science, you're looking at technology. The new national syllabus has technology written throughout the English component. It's embedded within the curriculum. There is no real block in time. It is throughout and should be throughout. Our curriculum involves three strands. Creative coding, uh, exciting electronics and digital lifestyle. The creative coding strand teaches subjects that involve creating content through coding. Things like programming, apps, making a website or making a game. The exciting electronics strand teaches subjects that involve a physical element whether that be 3D printing or robotics or electronics. The digital lifestyle strand covers subjects that are relevant to students in the digital age. Topics such as Google skills, video creation, and being a safe and responsible digital citizen. So when we come into schools, we provide all of the equipment, including the instructors. We have all the software, all the hardware. It's all right there and ready to go. All our classes have a 3D printer where we will bring one into the classroom and we will teach children not only how to design and create objects, but we'll actually be printing out the physical objects at the end of each lesson. I've never seen 30 students all at once light up the way they did when I introduced 3D printing. I showed them, I showed them this video of this dog who was born with deformed legs and um, the 3D printer was able to print him out some new legs so that he was, you know, able to run and play with dogs again. And the look on the kids' faces when they realised the, the potential and the possibilities that this, that this um, 3D printing was opening up to them was just, just the best feeling. It gave me such a buzz. Watching the children today, uh, my first reaction was, oh my goodness, is it going to be too difficult? But no, they're sponges. They picked it up, um, the educator took them through in a sequence, logical uh, manner. They went back and they were teaching me after 10 minutes and that was just an amazing thing to see for me as a principal, knowing that a decision that I've made has actually uh, got the children engaged and uh, looking forward to moving on. I think they're, they're loving learning the, the mechanics behind the games that they play and, and the things that they're doing in school and understanding where that's all coming from.
As a father of five, uh, I have, which escapes from four-year-old to 19-year-old, I have seen uh, technology change uh, within my house and also at school within the same, you know, within the same time frame. Uh, I am looking at today what we're doing and just wishing that my 19 and 17 year old had this opportunity when they were in year two and year three. It would just be to see what would happen. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the year twos of my school will be producing in content in year six. So we're really anxious to get going. We want to get to all the children as quickly as we can. We need to start now. Let's not waste another minute. Can you imagine what we can have year two kids now, what we can have them doing in year six?